Okay, this is the second part of uh, Lecture 5 of the Pathwork series. The basis for self-search includes man's recognition that there is absolute truth beyond human relative truth and that if he transfers human relative truth to the spiritual truth, thinking it is also relative while it is absolute, he shuts the door to self-realization. You may say there are two groups of human beings, one which follows blindly given dogmas without thinking about them. They will never have the deep personal experience of recognizing the truth. The other extreme group is the one I mentioned above. In your days, many belong to this group, especially among intellectualists. They find their views particularly objective. They have freed themselves, so they say, from everything. And thereby they throw the immutable, eternally moving, absolute divine truth into one basket with human dogma, losing all ground. Both groups are the wrong extremes. In fact, this latter group is just as far apart from the truth as the first one, often even farther. With all their superficial intellectual knowledge, they are actually still searchers, but they can only find when they open a door to their inner self, perhaps in the unconscious. What is religion? You misunderstand this very frequently and you are anxious to assure yourself and others that you are not religious, mistakenly thinking it means following blindly, dogmatically some sect. Religion means go back to God. And everybody wants this whether he knows it or not. All this unfulfilled longing in man is nothing, actually, other than the desire to return to God, thus religion. The more conscious man is of this desire, the more peacefully and harmoniously his soul currents move. Of course, some may find this way back to God by joining a sect. Why not? If instructions received there activate his soul force and open the door to self-recognition, this is essential, and many may find it in such a sect. In such case, minor errors or deviations in concept are not important. As a matter of fact, they are only the details. These details only become important when they hinder the individual's growth, in a direct or indirect way. However, this depends largely on the individual. Other human beings may not find their way back to God through joining a sect. They have to be shown another way. But whatever it is, man needs outside help. This help constitutes the material with which he has to build his own house. But for all religion, the back to God is essential. God is absolute. God is the truth. Thus, the truth behind human error is also absolute. So each one will receive the part of the truth which he is able to digest and absorb accordingly to his development. Many could be given more than they receive, but they don't want to receive because they are too lazy or for other reasons, and thus they do not meet the conditions. But he who truly knocks at the door of truth will be opened. And of course, don't brood over things which are presently not yet important and which you at this time would not be able to understand. Understanding will come in proportion to the spiritual work you do for yourself. When you, even when discussing a general subject, feel an inner pressure or a resistance, think and search why. Whether this is not connected with an area of hurt in your own soul. Because if your soul is truly healthy and free and on the right way in every respect, you would not feel a pressure when certain subjects are discussed. Only you can search your inner self, but try to solve this question from that angle instead of brooding over it in outer tangibility, which leads nowhere. The inner search requiring discipline may reveal an unexpected insight, which will not only solve the seemingly general problem, but will also shed light on important facets of your inner self. And I urge all of you to examine your inner self when you get angry, excuse me, when you feel angry or disturbed over certain points of discussion. These angry or disturbed feelings may not even be noticeable 
on the outside and you may appear calm, but inside something is stirring and this certainly, this certain something should show you the way how to approach the problem from another angle. Think by, by, excuse me, think by what personal fault such inner reaction is caused, even if you cannot see connecting the connecting thread instantly. If you are truly willing and make an all outgoing effort to recognize, you will receive help to recognize and soon you will be able to see the red thread. When you have detected this inner core, the way is free to absorb what is true. And as much as you are capable of and, and not only words. Words are of little use unless they are considered material to digest, but more the inner awareness will arise. Where a point of hurt remains in the unconscious, the door of recognition remains locked. And I'm going to end there uh, because it's a question and answer period and uh, it's really valuable. But I think I'm going to leave you with just the uh, heart and meat of the lecture that the guide shared. And if you want more information on the Pathwork, go to pathwork.org. Thanks.